An Alberni Valley mill is facing an uncertain future tonight because it can't get enough wood. Work at the Cedar Mill is at a near standstill. Employees have been laid off, and its owner blames BC's raw log export policy. As Kendall Hansen reports, the issue has landed on the floor of the legislature, but still, there are no solutions. A dozen workers at this Alberni Shaken Shingle Mill are working, but all of their shifts have been cut lately. They worked four days during the last two weeks. Their jobs have been increasingly unreliable during the past few years, especially during the last eight months, and it's the result of a lack of cedar log supply. Well, we're faced with uncertainty um, in the future, and uh, where is our next log going to come from? We don't know. Butch Taylor has been running this company for 30 years. Finding logs has become such an issue, he's listed his company for sale. He says it's the B.C. government's fault. They're silly log policies. They're just destroying, not, not only this mill. I mean, there's hundreds of guys like me around that own small sawmills, shingle mills. They're grateful to Western Forest Products for selling them the cedar in their yard. But Taylor says the government needs to make log supply to BC's mills a priority over their export. If the mill could access more cedar, Taylor is certain he can employ 32 people again as he did a decade ago. There's got to be an answer to all this. There's got to be a happy medium where they can log the, the TFL and stuff, keep, keep, keep what we got going, plus export, you know. The mill situation reignited the log export debate in the legislature. Continue, member. Thanks to failed liberal forest policy, Mr. Taylor has been forced to lay people off. They can't get fiber while truck after truck after truck drives by with trees being, being sent for export. Again to the minister, why are jobs in Port Alberni being sacrificed so that Liberals can continue to export raw logs? Cedar uh, is not able to be exported under our current export policy. The uh, supply issues uh, for, with respect to that cedar shingle mill are not related to the log export policy. The minister said that there, was no, there were no cedar logs leaving the province as raw log export, and that's not true. Um, we've pulled up uh, BC stats and uh, over 200 thousand cubic meters of cedar have left the province in the last two years, signed off by this minister. Taylor says BC's forest minister is out of touch. I'd like them to come here and run this place for a month and then get, get the feel of what, what, what people like in my kind of business and small business have to go through where he makes these stupid log policies. Taylor says he is tempted to walk away from it all. The uncertain log supply makes it tough to both retain employees and keep up with customer demand. But his investment is too great, and he feels indebted to the employees who have been with him for decades.